Right, welcome to the fourth part of the Minecraft's client coding tutorial. And this part will be a simple fly and no fall mod. Now keep in mind these aren't any codes that will bypass for no cheat servers. I'm currently working on something that will bypass but um, I won't be releasing anything so don't get your hopes up. Um, but it works fine single player and quite a lot of servers actually. Um, but if they have no cheat or anti cheat then it probably won't work. So first what you want to do is you want to make two new booleans. So we do that by opening our, our mods class or whatever you called it. Type in public static boolean. Um, we should call fly equals false public static boolean no fall equals false. Right, now that we've got that, um, we can make our keybinds. So, just under this keybind, we can do another one. If it's just the same layout, check key uh, parentheses again, keyboard of capital K, keyboard dot key under dash F. I'm going to use F, you can use whatever you like. This is a key which will be used for toggling the fly mode. And then type in mods. Or whatever your thing is, whatever your class is, dot fly, um, whatever the the variable is. It doesn't have to be fly. Remember, you can call this whatever you want. Uh, equals, and then exclamation mark mods dot fly, and that basically that basically switches it. As I said in the last tutorial. Right, and inside inside here, once you've got your this is this is a, a neat little trick. Inside your where your menu is, you can do an art if statement and it's going to say if mods dot fly. So it's saying if it's enabled, I want you to draw. No, sorry, if it's not enabled. So if it's not enabled, not your brackets, you little squiggly things, and it's like that. So if mods dot fly is disabled, um, like when we open this up, we want it to say it is disabled. So we're going to say for a dot draw string with shadow, um, and we're going to say f. No, sorry, we're going to do backslash two four seven four, and that's a color code for red, I think, or it might be two four seven two. I'm not sure which one, but we'll find out soon enough. F. So that's the color code. We don't have we don't put any spaces here. We just do f equals fly. And then we can even add little square brackets if you want to get super fancy, and we'll say off. Um, and we'll put the position for twenty. And the color code that we're going to use here isn't really an effect, so we can just put anything. A A B B. It doesn't really matter because it because it'll actually use a color code from this, which is two four seven four. Right, so um, now that we've done that, we can go under this menu. We can go under here. Let's let's go under this, under this body, under this whole if statement. We'll make a new one, and we'll basically say if it is this, if it is enabled. So if mods dot fly. So if it is enabled, then we want it to display on screen even if the menu is not active. Then we wanted to say if it is enabled, basically copy this. I know it's cheap. Um, and we're going to say fly instead of off, it's on. Instead of 2474, it's 2472, which is green. And keep the X and Y the same. X is usually always the same, and the Y is what changes. So for the next toggle, for no fault, it will be 30 instead of 20. So if we just go. And we run this. Mods don't fly. That's an error. Hmm. Yeah, it must have just not recognised that we typed in the boolean. Right, well, it works now, so let's run this. 
Um, by the way, the way you save all your files is by pressing Control Shift and S, and that saves all your classes that you've edited. So if we go back into our world. You see nothing appears and it'll say I've got the offset a little bit wrong but we'll fix that shortly, it's not too important. So it says F equals fly off in red, but if we press F it'll come up fly equals on. Which is really cool. Um like every time you log in as well, it always says press E to take inventory, it's really annoying. So, that's your basic menu. So if it's on, it will still show up on your thing. And if it isn't, then it will just show up inside your menu. Really simple. Um, so let's actually change this to 30. 30. And the next one down can just be 40. So, now that we've actually um, made it visible so that we can see when it's enabled, we're actually going to do the coding. So, open up client, source, net.minecraft.source, then you're going to go ahead and find entity player SP, which is right here, not MP, SP. So, open that up and then press Ctrl F, oh. and then you're going to look for um, on living update um it's not this one it's probably the next one down yeah it's just this one here under this motion y plus equals 1.5 d get some space here and then we're going to type in f um sorry i'm used to typing ech because that's the the name of the class i use in my actual client dot fly so if it's enabled um, and this is basically saying if it's enabled then we're going to give them we're going to give the player the capability to fly so mc dot the player which is in minecraft um, dot the player dot capabilities dot is flying equals true and then just outside of this just under right outside this little square um squiggly bracket you're going to type in else mc dot the player dot capabilities dot is flying equals false Then we can save that, and um, we'll give it a test. We can close that by the way because we don't need it anymore. Check the time. I don't want to make this too long because I know people don't like to watch long videos. Um, what is the square root of negative one? <laughs> just saw that there, right? So, fly off. Um, well, you can always mess around with the height of this and whatever, but it doesn't matter to me right now. Um, but once you press fly, fly on, you can see. Oh, and I've not double tapped the space, or else it would be floating out above the ground. Right, you can see our screen, our point of view gets increased. We're flying. But watch what happens. Game mode. And I'm just proving it works in survival. I'm flying in survival, look. Now watch what happens when I drop down. I take a lot of damage. That's because the top height that I got to, it accumulated. Um, all the height that you've gained accumulated. So that's what we're, we're going to do no fall next in the same video. So, yeah. Even when I just try and land, it'll still kill me. But that should basically done fly and just soar and take off. And you always get hot when you hot the ground, so 
yeah, it's always good to have no fall. Right. So basically, it's the same. It's the same thing we're going to do. Um, we're going to do the same check key. If check key keyboard dot key under dash, and we're going to use in. You can use whatever you like. As I said, you don't have to use the same keys. You don't have to copy it word for word. Whatever. Mods dot no fall equals mods dot no fault with an exclamation mark in front of it and that will toggle it. Switch it from true to false or false to true, whatever. Um and then inside here we're gonna basically copy this. I'm gonna copy it because I'm lazy. But um you should probably type it just for more experience. And instead in fly it's gonna be no fall. Uh for eight dot Josh English Shadow it's instead of F it's gonna be N instead of fly it's gonna be no fall, and where it says 40 and uh, 30, we're going to change that to 40, like that. And I don't need to show you that this will display it because we already know that. We're going to basically copy this statement again and we're going to post that in here. And uh, we're going to go no fall, n equals no fall on. And 40. So that's us got our display for that. And we do that for every one of our keybinds, by the way, every one of our commands. Um, we'll change this to 18. No, 16. And we'll just change that to 20. No, 18 sounds good. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, So now that that's done, what we're going to do is um, we're going to actually make our no fall. So what we need to do, we need to edit three classes for our no fall, and that's packet classes. We're going to go down here and we're going to look for packet, and then we're going to go here and see where it says packet eleven player position. This is the first one we're going to edit. And then just above z dot position or this dot z position, we're going to type in f ECH oh sorry not ECH if mods dot no fall. So that's if it's enabled on ground oh what did I do? On ground equals true else Open up your squiggly brackets, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to cut this code. So, Control X or right click it and cut, and then just post it in there. So, that's one packet. Um, and the reason we do it for other ones is because it, that, that's only updating it for like the actual XYZ position and not the pitch and yaw of the player. So, it's good to do it for all, all three just in case. Next, open up packet 12, player look, just under it, right there. Open up that, and it's the same thing here, pretty much. So if mods dot no fall, open up some squiggly brackets, on ground equals true, else, and then you can cut this. So you've got packet 12 edited, now you can unlock packet 13, not packet 30, 130, 132, packet 13, right there, player, look, move. And it's the same thing, just under pitch, if mods dot no fall, um, on ground, oh, Jesus, I keep doing that, it's because my mouse is a bit dodgy, on ground equals true. Right. Else. And it's like par 11, and then this is par 3, and this one, and packet 11 is par 9, I'm pretty sure. Equals par 9. Which is probably false, I think. 
Yeah. Right, so that's that's your no fall pretty much done. <laughs> See how easy it is. It's not really too hard. Well to me it's not, but um I hope you kept up with that. And if you didn't just leave a comment if you've got any errors and I'll be sure to definitely correct you. Um so yeah, that's done. We should go and test our game. Or mod pack rather. Um and this will probably be it for this tutorial. Next tutorial I'll be doing maybe spider super speed and maybe something else. Do some main menu modifications. Right. So that's us basically got our no fall and fly. Now you can see our menu, looking quite snazzy. That's terribly obnoxious. You can see there we take fall damage, but no fall. There we go, no fall damage whatsoever. So completely invincible to fall damage. Remember, this does not really work on servers that have got no cheat. Um, I'm going to mess around and I'm going to try and figure out some bypasses for no cheat. But until then, this won't work on those servers. So make sure you test these kind of things out before you go ahead doing flips and shit. Because I get a lot of people hating on my videos on my other channel. Like when I made a video about my um, Enigma client on my other channel. Um, a lot, of, Some guy hated on it saying, I jumped off an edge and died. Dislike. Just make sure you test these kind of things before you run and do them in an actual server. Make sure, make sure you're allowed to like do that kind of thing. But yeah, that's that for this tutorial. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like the video for more, um, for more videos, more tutorials, more griefing videos, rating videos, and um, if you have any questions or need any help, just leave a question or send me a private message, and I'll be sure to get back to you. But um, that's it for this one, and I uh, will see you next time.